मौका मिले तो करना ये दोबारा जुनू की याद में उबलती मेरी कोशिशों को चाहिए ना कोई और सहारा first beyond infinity event was a defining moment for me actually right okay but before we start the event it's a very 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 important thing to do because this would have not been possible without blessings of almighty and blessings of the person who I'm going to call upon right right from the inception right from the inception of this thought i still remember i have not spoken to anybody but this thought came in my mind and i remember that day i spoke to her i said we need to go to a next level actually right and this none other than dr meena mahajan meena ji
the uh, we we been witnessing many events from our childhood and we see that everywhere we light the lamp and so many people may not be knowing why exactly the lamp so can you just share why exactly we light the lamp and and few words about the about beyond infinity what you feel actually namaste bhi aaye namaste good morning har har mahadev i am so happy and so proud this moment in my life is going to be one of the best cherished moments so thank you everyone thank you for all your love you know when uh, i was can you all sit down and be comfortable please beyond infinity and then sachin Let me first begin by saying you all are so blessed because you are under the guidance of one leader who is consistently leading with values which is the toughest to do in these times so hear it out for sachin I got to know this amazing team of BI leaders. Jitna bolu kam hai. You guys are so blessed. So the entire core up there. Thank you for being the best students. Thank you. Do you want to know a secret? So everybody is saying Sachin has conceived BI and Sachin has conceived BI. Do you know where the thought was conceived? Do you know where this happened? In the bathroom. Yes. So he was taking a bath and I happened to be in Dubai. And he took a bath. and he had his towel around him and he came out and said d i want to share something i said what is it he said beyond infinity this is going to be our next milestone and i said tathastu so be it and here we are less than one and a half year that we are all here and i feel so happy and so proud thank you one round of applause for this thought which is now a reality which i always say no matter what no matter what your consistent hard work your connection with self and god can make any thought a reality this lamp you're all seeing and you know we whatever part of the world we belong to we always have a tradition to light a lamp thank you before any event that starts any marriage in the house any anything that's going to happen we always like to give it an auspicious touch by lighting a lamp now what is the meaning of lighting a lamp Let's not make anything mechanical in these magical four days. Now, this lamp that we have here, you see, <laughs> it's decorated. It's made of brass. It's got a peacock. But what we should notice is that it has five wicks. And for all of you who have been a 
part of our value trainings as satsangs. Yes? These five wicks are symbolic of the five elements. So if we are creatures on this planet, we all have these five elements inside us. Anybody? Water, fire, earth, air, and space. So when we start anything auspicious, we seek the blessings of these five elements. It doesn't matter which culture you come from, it doesn't matter which God you pray to, it doesn't matter which part of the world you are in. We all know that these five elements is something which is present in us and the universe. So we ask them for protection. We ask them to auspiciously run our event so that we all can be protected, we are all safe, we go back home safe and sound with maximum learnings. The other way to look at it is, we as human beings have some darkness in our heart. There is some stress, sometimes it's family, sometimes it's money, sometimes it's health. Some stress or the other makes our heart very dark. And only he who knows darkness knows the power of light. So when we light this lamp, we are showing ourselves that light. And this little lamp can light a million lamps. That's why we say, Asatoma Sadgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya. Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya, which means that this light can take us from darkness to knowledge. And that's the reason why we start every event with the lighting of lamp. One thought which was coming to me when I was sitting there was, when you go on a pilgrimage, has anyone been on a pilgrimage? Yes, temples, Makkah, spiritual pilgrimages, yes? What is the first thought that comes to you? The first thought that comes to you when you're on a pilgrimage is that you are not going, you have been called, yes? So these four days are like a pilgrimage for you. You have not come here, you have been called by something that awaits you in your life. Your journey begins here and I always say that the journey is more important than the destination. Because the journey decides the destination. The other thing is when you're going on a pilgrimage, what do you do? Sometimes it takes two days, sometimes it takes ten days. You keep chanting. Isn't it? You meet anybody on the way, you're chanting. You're wishing them. Because you know that even they are either coming from that pilgrimage or going from that pilgrimage. That is exactly what you have to do in these four days. Whoever you meet is a part of your journey. So this event is like your pilgrimage. And lastly, what do you do when you're on a spiritual or a religious pilgrimage? You're 100% focused on who you're going to meet. Laser sharp focus is what you all need in these four days. Do not miss a single word that the speakers are going to talk. Do not miss a single word. How I want to start is, of course, we light the lamp. This is very special to me, believe me, because, you know, when you have a baby, it's born in front of you, then you bring up the baby, you go through the highs and lows together. 
So indeed, this is a very memorable and a very emotional moment for me as well. So make use of these four days. You have amazing leaders coming on stage talking to you because all of them know that this is the journey and they are making this journey very special. Can you all promise me that? Yes? Great. So let us now start with the lamp lighting. So, so to help us lighting the lamp, there are people actually without who I am incomplete, you guys are incomplete actually, right? These are the pillars behind Beyond Infinity, okay? So, let me call entire core in service to come on the stage for helping us to light the lamp and inaugurate Beyond Infinity. So guys, help me welcome the core in service, the CC, ACC, ACC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And along with them, there are two giant pillars, okay, none other than our own VC Middle Arch and Bijoy Matthew. So guys, So here, before I announce 
the official opening of Beyond Infinity. I want everyone to connect with the superpower who is operating the world and just pray that we all should go back safe with whatever we came here for. We get our breakthroughs and from this event onwards, life is going to take a different turn. And most importantly, we all are safe here and we go back safe to our loved ones. So his blessings and there are parents who are sitting there. Without their blessing, we cannot reach anywhere, right? So with their blessings, we announce this moment, the first Beyond Infinity, as an opening moment, an official launch of Beyond Infinity! One more thing, moment actually, other than launching the Beyond Infinity, we are also launching today our first ever, first ever edition of a magazine called Elevate. You know what is the meaning of Elevate? We are here to elevate each other. So. Can we have, can we show the magazine of the app? So, this is the first ever edition. This is your ready recommend to, to recap what you are going to learn, right? So, with this launch, Now we announce the beginning of your infinity and let us see the, the unveiling of the Beyond Infinity logo and in the beginning, right? <laughs> 